it's Eduardo. Thank y'all for tuning into my channel once again. Yes, I'm recording back in my room. This is the room where it all started and I would record in here when I started my YouTube channel and now I've been recording in my kitchen because there's better lighting and I feel like it's just more comfortable, you know? Anyways, today we're going to be doing a coral fish look. This look was brought to you by IEDM.com. Don't just go raving with like any type of raving word. Rave with IEDM.com where it's really good quality, it's high end. The only thing I do recommend about this website is that the sizes are one size smaller. So get it one size bigger than your average size. That's my only recommendation so that you guys get the clothes that fits and something that's not too tight. And it does shrink when you, draw, when you wash it. Just giving you guys a heads up because I wouldn't be talking about a product or a company that I haven't purchased myself. Thank y'all for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe and have a wonderful day. Winky face. Oh, also, if you missed one of my videos, you can click one and one of them right here right here or just click my face right here in the bottom look at my channel and subscribe bye guys what's up guys is eduardo here thank y'all for tuning in again yes my voice does sound very nasal because i do have allergies stupid allergy season anyway so we're first going to start off by using the snazaru paint in the color yellow and using a face painting sponge or a paint sponge you're just going to spread this all over your face and neck usually what i recommend if you are using mayron's paradise paint in the color yellow please spray your sponge to spread all the products on because these products are expensive <laughs> Using your BH Cosmetics fluffy brush, you are then going to apply the Coastal Scents eyeshadow in orange to contour the forehead, the cheekbones, the bone structure, as well as the neck. Do add fish-like structures. You could look at a coral fish picture as a reference. And also, I did highlight my nose and my cheekbones using a very, like, Belle from Beauty and the Beast dress yellow. Not mustard, but like a yellow, like, like chicken yellow, you know? Now we are going to start the detail. So using a detailed brush from the BH Cosmetics, you are then going to apply white snazaru paint to draw in the gills, all the coral, beautiful coral all over your neck, your forehead, and your face. It's um you just have to get creative. I used a coral fish picture as reference, and that's why you see me literally staring at my computer for like 20 seconds. Okay, guys, and then just start on um, detailing them in little by little. Remember, patience is key. Using a flat brush from the BH Cosmetics line, I am then going to apply my purple, uh, my purple, my blue eyeshadow on top. I did use a light in between blue jean and in between my navy blue slash royal blue. So it's like a light blue in between and you're just going to powder them on top of the white on your face. Make sure that you get a very light coat. If you want to give it more of a fishy texture, you can darken it up depending what type of fish you're trying to be. And remember, get creative if you want to mix it in with purple, with pink. Just blend it in, you know, get creative. Using the Tag Body Arts Face Paint in the color Royal Blue, I am then going to use my detailed brush from BH Cosmetics and overline the, the white details. The reason why I decided to use the Tag Body Arts instead of Love Arts and Crafts is because this is wax based, so this gives you more of a line, more dimensional, and it kind of does a 3D effect. If you ever want to do a makeup, like past when I did my exposed muscle, 3D makeup is really important to use wax base to give it that 3D effect. Just because of the wax, it gives it more of a overlooking than a cream base. To finish the look of the face, we are then going to use the royal blue and we're going to apply it with the flat brush. Then what I did after is that I'm just going to blend it in with the blending brush. And then using a lip brush, I am then going to apply some highlighter into the inner corner of my eyes and under the eyes. Make sure to just blend it in as much as possible, the highlighter, and it'll give it that beautiful, nice, overlooking um, kind of texture. And it also makes it look like the bright, open eye like a fish. 
I'm then going to apply a sheer lipstick. This is more on the lip gloss texture using a lip brush from BH Cosmetics in the color Nude. I'm just going to overdo my lips. And then using the fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics, I am then just going to apply green um, eyeshadow on the shimmery. It has to be really shimmery green eyeshadow. And then using the same fluffy brush, I got the blue royal blue powder eyeshadow and I'm just going to blend it into the side of my lips. What the blending end is going to do, it's going to give it that overlooking poppy lip effect. Like if you have a two-tone, it's really good. And then I just applied a little bit in the middle just to give it more of like a sexy fishy tone. So when you're doing your duck, your duck face or your fish face, you still got the blue texture so it doesn't overdo the green. You know, it's more on the natural tone. And like this, you achieve this wonderful look for Beyond Wonderland, Under the Sea, or any Raven General, or even Halloween. Thank y'all for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to tune in bi-weekly to see new videos. Bye, guys. Thank you.